Hello guys, in my previous video, you knew how to install this software into your machine. Today, I will guide you how to create a new project in Omega 3. This is the display of Omega 3. On the left panel is where you work with your document. The 4G match panel on the right will show you matches between the current segment with genetic memory. The glossary panel shows the terminology of words in the current segment. Now we start to create a new project. Press project and new. Type your project name in the window. After that, choose the source and target language. In my case, they are English and Vietnamese. You better make it right because of the spell checker function. It will check your target language. The source folder is where you put your documents for translation. The translation memory is where your previous or provided memory store. The glossary folder is where you show the meaning of words, I mean term. If you have the dictionary files, you can put in dictionary folder to support your translation. After finish your job, your research will be stored in the target folder. This is blank because you didn't put any documents into short folder. Press import to import your files. This is a sample file that I make for this tutorial. You will see on the the advantage of this tool, there are four sentences in my files. It becomes four segments in the Omega T because there are two similar sentences. So the number of units and the segment is three. That means you just need to generate three sentences for this project. Awesome, right? This is how I create a new terminology. For example, the word door is very hard and I don't know what it means. So I look up the dictionary and add this word into my glossary. Every time you go to sentence with headed work doc, the glossary panel will show you the meaning of it. Besides, I just kidding about dog, dog meat, because I love dog and I don't know how to eat dog meat. So I start to translate. You will see the the meaning of dog on the rosary panel. You can see the first image. A uh, panel show the previous translated segments with the with have some similar between them. It suggests you to translate a new sentence without digressing. One of the advantages of uh, Omega T is you can easy, easily uh, recognize untranslated segment by using the view tab. In case you have a document with so many segments and you need to find some untranslated segment to correct them. After finish your project, it's time to show the results. Because uh, Omega T didn't support Unicode with um, planted yet, so I need to change the file extension from TST to UTF-8. Then after that, and I just need to uh, reconvert this and open for the result. Thank you for watching. See you next time.